Okay, our last practice test video. This is the 10th one. It's page 629, problems 29 and 41. I changed them from what I originally sent, but they're the same kind of problem. And we're gonna go from polar to rectangle in one problem and rectangular back to polar. And the formula, I actually wrote it wrong the first time. If we know polar, this means you're gonna go from a point, you're gonna go four inches or four miles or whatever the units are at an angle of pi over six, which I think is 30 degrees. So with your compass, you would point 30 degrees, which is a little bit above east. North would be 90 degrees. And then you're gonna go four units of distance. Now, if you wanna change that to rectangular, it's real simple, you just take r times cosine of theta will give you x, and then r times the sine of theta will give you y. So you just have to have these two formulas written on your formula sheet. x is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta. So let's do that right now. So that would be four cosine of theta. and you'll get two root three. Oops, not supposed to be a comma there. Two root three comma, that's your X. To get your Y, it's gonna be four times sine of pi over six which is just a plain two. So that's your Y value, and that is your answer. All right, to go the other direction from rectangular back to polar, this one's pretty easy. It's Pythagorean theorem, so it's three squared plus four squared, but you should recognize that right away, three, four, five. If you don't, that's nine plus 16 is 25, square 25 is five. So we know R, is five. So R is five. And you get theta, it's just tangent of Y over X. So I hit tangent four over three, and it doesn't come out nice. Uh, I think it was 4.13. So your answer for this one is five, 4.13, that's measured in radians.